Hey there, welcome back. It's Garrett with DIY PBX. This is video 20. In the next couple of minutes, our head trainer Kent is going to show you how to set up a SNOM phone with your DIY PBX. Take it away, Kent. Hey, it's Kent from DIYPBX.com again. This time I'm here to talk to you about SNOM phones. Um, specifically, this is a SNOM 710 that we're looking at here, and it's one we bought used, and so I had to factory reset it, which was a simple process. Uh, you can find videos online for that. Uh, essentially, it's just pushing star, star, pound, pound, waiting for it to reboot and holding down pound, and then uh, telling it to kind of reset itself. Once it did, it came up in a state which uh, did not work very well with DIY PBX. So I want to take you through the steps that I did to get it going. And it might be a longer video, but for those of you who are using a SNOM phone, uh, hopefully it will be informative. So the first thing we need to do is go to the advanced setting. Uh, on the phone and once we get there uh, you go over to the SIP RTP tab and you can see you've got an, a network identity by default this will be blank uh, which probably defaults to port 5060 but this is the same as a local SIP port if you've heard me talking uh, about the local SIP port in other videos that's all this is so I set it to 25101 because that's the extension that I'm gonna set up on this phone once you do that, you get into the actual line you're going to set up on the phone. So I set mine up on identity one, and uh, this is the name that displays on the phone is right here. And then this is the account number, which is 101, which is the extension that I used on my DIY PBX. And I got the secret for the extension, pasted it in here, and this is the actual address of the DIY PBX server. So that's all pretty straightforward as far as that goes. Where it gets tricky is as you, is as you get into these other tabs here. Uh, on the SIP tab, I set my expiration down to 60 seconds. And the same thing on my subscription expiry. I set it down to 60 seconds. And once I did those things, we get a much lower time. Uh, as far as how long it's going to try and register with the server for. So it overcomes NAT better, especially if you have a, an active firewall that's you know closing and opening ports. The other thing is when you get into the default uh, mode, it's going to come with a bunch of codecs. DIY PBX or free PBX and asterisk in general don't come with a lot of the licenses that the SNOM phone uh, seems to desire to use. So I narrowed mine down to just PCMU, GSC, uh, GSM, and Telephone Event. Uh, telephone Event is the DTMF tones that I want it to use. Uh, the other thing that I had to do is I had to come down in here, turn on the full SDP answer, uh, disable the RTP encryption since I didn't have RTP encryption set up on DIY PBX. It's not something that I'm interested in. Uh, that's a nice project if it's something you're interested in uh, and I just I left the rest of this alone but the important thing is get the codex narrowed down get uh, your RTP encryption off that way your audio will work before you do that you'll likely get registered and it'll appear that your phone is working but if you make a call you either won't have audio and or uh, it'll tell you that uh, it's not acceptable here or something of that nature. And I left the log up so you could see what I was getting. You can see that I was getting in here this uh, stuff about fail to receive an SDP offer answer with required SRTP crypto attributes, telling me that the RTP was still encrypted. Well, after I got rid of the RTP encryption on the phone, I still had these all the default codecs up here, and I was getting a licensing mismatch or a codec mismatch that was causing me to have no audio even though the signaling would work at that point and the other phone would ring there would be no audio in either direction so again uh, you, you know you go in you set up your line reduce your 
expiration timers, go into the RTP tab, set up your codecs, turn the encryption off, and be sure that you've gone to the advanced tab into the SIP RTP setting and set up a specific port to operate on. Once you have done those things, uh, you will see that your phone should be registered and you should be able to make and receive calls, which I can. And as you can see, here's everything that is operating on this PBX. It's good to go. That's all there is to it, but it is a little more advanced than, say, a Polycom phone or a Grandstream phone. Many people consider SNOM to be a superior phone to others. I would say that it is very, very flexible, has a lot of options, um, and as long as you're willing to be patient with it, it should work out just fine. Thanks for sticking around to the end and watching the entire video. Remember, you can find a complete transcript of this video at DIYPBX.com along with our complete catalog of DIY PBX setup videos. Thanks again for watching and good luck.